Hey, this is Mr. Buffington. Um, Mr. Buffington, MD, Master of Dotology. Um, this is actually just a kid's game that you play by starting out with a bunch of dots, and you connect the dots, essentially, to make squares. So you'll start by going one person's um, green, and then the next person's purple, let's say. And you just continue to make dots, and so one person goes on the other. And you keep going, and basically your goal is to not get, or to get as many squares filled in as you can. So one person goes, then the next, then the next, and so on. So I've just basically kind of done this in fast forward motion. I continue to make the green people go and the red and the purple people go, so that um, nobody is making it possible for anyone else to get a perfect square. And we get to this point in the game where you have to make. You can put a, a line example from here to here. And the next person would have to, would get a square. Now, after you get a square, you get to go a second time. So, if I went here, I would get give the next person this square, and then this one, and then this one, and so on, all the way through to the end. So, when you get to this point, um, I think it's purple's turn, and purple, or I think it's green's turn actually. And green has the opportunity to go ahead and put a line in. What you want to do is search for the place that will give the, the other person the least number of lines. For example, this one's a really good one down here. Just go ahead and go there. And then player L will take that spot. Now player L gets to put another line on. So player L is going to look up here and go, wow, there's only two if I go up there. So player L gives us this line and kind of asks us to go. Now it's our turn, our turn, uh, Green's turn. Now, what green usually does, what most players will usually do in this case, is to quickly get the squares that they can and then move on to something else. But in this case, what you see left is this huge pathway that's going to give you lots of points, and then this massive long pathway here that's going to give you lots of points. Those ones are both worth a whole lot more than two squares. So what you can do as a trick is to actually, instead of going across, go up. Watch what that does. Now it's it's the purple's turn again. And the purple's kind of stuck. I mean, they have to go there and get their two points. But now they're again forced to kind of give us some points, the green team some points, either in this section or in this huge long section. Now, uh, player L is not stupid. They're going to go for this section in here. So they'll whoops, give um, a purple line across here. So let's go ahead and see what happens when, when player L gives a nice purple line right across there. Okay. Now what can happen is that the green team can start filling these in. They'll put one here and put in a W, and one here, and one here, and one here, and kind of keep going across. I'll kind of show you. And we get all the way around to this point. Now, at this point, again, Player W, green, has an option. We can quickly fill this in and take those two points, or do the smarter move and just go on the end. By going on the end, I don't create a box, and player L can only get two. See? So player L is going to have to force to go there, get uh, two points, and now this whole section is now given to me to player W, W for winner, by the way. Um, so player L goes ahead and just gives a, puts a purple in there. And by doing that, player W is able to fill. I'll show you what happened there. Um, whoops, OK, because that wasn't very clear. OK, player W filled in this, or player L. It was L's turn. They filled this in. And then W just started filling in here. One there, one there, one there, and going this way as well and kind of fill that in. And once you get going, you can kind of fill in quite a lot. So here, 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 here. That next, we'll fill in there, 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 all the way around um, as we go. It's going around to there. And if you wanted to be a real jerk, I guess you could, at this point, just put one at the end there and make player poor player L be a little bit humiliated. But we're not that kind of a player. So we'll just continue to fill it in and get all of our Ws. So even at the beginning of this, L was got the first turn. 
they were kind of set up so that it looked like L was going to win. But by using that strategy, we were able to kind of circumvent L and look at the end result. This is what it looks like when you have someone playing dots who knows what they're doing, like me, Mr. Buffington, MD, Master of Dotology.